Hello friends. How many of you know cycling? I just want to know how did you learn cycling? Possibly when you started cycling somebody helped you. They uh, held the cycle by your side. They allowed you to cycle for a few minutes. And then at some point of time they just left their hands and they let you cycle yourself. And so it's about the driving. You take the help of a driver and learn and get the license and at some point of time you start driving yourself and you learn a lot by cycling yourself as well as driving yourself because you get over the fear you get a hands on experience you are able to integrate multi sensory inputs together to create and construct knowledge which is purely out of experience years uh, ahead people have discussed about the impact of experiential learning as a significant uh, uh, aspect of the process of learning as a matter of fact if you could see most of our predecessors uh, either a farmer in the village or a sculptor on the uh, in an architectural uh, unit they were all learning only through the experience probably they did not go to a school to learn a skill experiential learning is uh, both formal and informal experiences can be provided to you by training by, uh, by the experts uh, on the field or you might even get into uh, a kind of an experience uh, through your own interaction with the environment today the national policy on education talks about experiential learning i just want to underscore a very important uh, misconception people have that they confuse an experiential learning with an experimental learning the fact that the children go to a laboratory maths physics chemistry biology whatever they are remember these kinds of experience may scaffold uh, some kind of learning experience to them but they do, do not necessarily impart the experiences that are really required so you talk of experiential learning from a kg stage onwards uh, right and you remember that uh, the knowledge is uh, construction is also supported by the limbic system in the body the emotions uh, that children get as a matter of fact emotions help uh, in uh, building attitudes build, uh, building uh, uh, knowledge and also facilitating children to relate to the you know the universe of knowledge very effectively right I, but the psychologists say very uh, clearly that ec yes emotionally competent stimuli facilitate learning effectively and they f help in establishing knowledge in the uh, long term memory very often the information we receive is only in the short term memory and passes on over that so when you have an experiential learning the experiential learning gives you the skill it gives you a level of confidence it gives you uh, uh, you know your direct interaction with the uh, uh, universe uh, uh, of knowledge and also builds your confidence uh, that uh, you are able to uh, reflect on that knowledge build on that knowledge so in a school system when you talk about experiential learning the right from a kg class you know uh, experiences are to be provided kinesthetic experiences emotional experiences and uh, as a matter of fact constructivist approach uh, uh, is uh, really based on a kind of experiential learning uh, because uh, that will help uh, in uh, in constructing the right type of knowledge uh, amongst the children right so integration of art integration of uh, a variety of other experiences like uh, coco scholastic activities a dance a music a theater all these things uh, provide uh, an interface between your cognitive knowledge your bookish knowledge as well as an experiential knowledge and so these activities are required to provide uh, the informal experiences to the learner and because a human brain has got a unique capacity of what is called synesthesia what does it mean its ability to put the knowledge and the inputs received from various senses we call multi sensory integration for construction of knowledge and that provides the uniqueness of experience so when you talk of an experiential learning don't ever think that a written question is going to provide a experiential learning or doing a particular experiment alone is going to do it experiential learning is taking learning beyond the textbooks 
for example when you talk about a pressure temperature law you can refer to what happens in the kitchen with a pressure cooker relating knowledge over there for example when you talk about evaporation causes cooling you can relate it to uh, yeah, yeah, an air conditioner or a water in wet pot so relate it uh, to the kind of uh, experiences the children could acquire from various uh, uh, sources either directly or indirectly remember one thing experiential learning facilitates uh, uh, building self confidence uh, uh, self learning uh, uh, methods is one of the self learning methods and uh, would help the learner to grow in the learning curve very effectively yeah some uh, the self uh, experiential learning is a very strong input uh, for empowerment of the learning curve thank you